Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, that we've done the Fire Temple, I want to quickly check something because I feel like, if I'm not mistaken, I might be mistaken, but I might not be mistaken. Oh, I think this is weird. This is weird. Let me get out my Ocarina of Time and play the Scarecrow song here. Because I believe that Pierre actually is here for reasons that I don't really understand. I don't think this is anything, so. But we can actually go over here and then play the Scarecrow song again. I just think it's easy, easy enough to remember a scale on the ocarina than anything else. Why are there two Pierres? This is scary. <laughs> there are two of them. Also, I can't reach that, so I can't actually get over there. But anyway, Navi, what do you have to say? An arctic wind is blowing from Zora's domain, or Zora, Zora's river. Do you feel it? I don't really feel it in the middle of the volcano. Ah, uh, but anyway, we need to do a few more things inside of Death Mountain Crater before we move on. So, let's go across here, which we can do by just hookshotting onto the bridge and then going up. I believe you can also just climb the edge of the bridge if you don't get the edge of the platform. But anyway, these red rocks that we've seen around, we can actually break with the Megaton Hammer by hitting them twice. Which is actually quite good to know. Couple of Deku Scrubs. This is Deku Salesman I don't need. But this allows us to go over this way, opening up the shortcut that we can actually go back and forth from uh, the top of the mountain from, so we can do that now. Just like that. There's a ladder on the area over here to go up and down and all that, so. But now we can go cr back across this way and see what Navi has to. Do, what Navi's doing over here. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's a lot of information. I don't know if I can handle it. But anyway, let's break these rocks here and go in to another great fairy fountain. Need a ocarina out. Play Zelda's Lullaby. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Wisdom. I'm going to enhance your magic power. Receive it now. Your magic meter is enhanced. Your magic power has been enhanced. Now you have twice as much magic power. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. But what if I don't? Ah, that seems like a good idea. But anyway, now we have twice as much magic power, which is good because we're going to have a whole lot more now. I'm pretty sure it's twice as much. Fairly certain. But anyway, we've got plenty to use now, which is good. Now, I f I, I'm not sure about something, and I'm just going to leave it for now. Let's go down this way into uh, the Goron City now that we've saved everyone. They should be back, except for Darunia, who's now a sage and never going to return. Uh, but now, I believe... I don't think there's anything new that we can really do with any of the Gorons here. Now that they're back. But I do believe if we head up to the top of the city, there is one more thing we can do. Just have to walk all the way up. They should really install an elevator or something. There we go. 
So we want to go back into the boulder room now that we can break the red rocks with the Megaton Hammer. We can also break the regular rocks with the Megaton Hammer. Just like that. But now I want to go this way. Because if you have the Megaton Hammer, you can just go straight through here. Like this. Also, just keep in mind that if you break something in the future, you can't go back to the past and expect it to be open. Or the same both ways, I think? Well, I'm pretty sure the stuff will just reload anyway. But anyway, there's a treasure chest back here that we can open. And get a huge rupee worth 200. So that's there if you need that. Which I don't, so... I don't think there's anything else over here either. Nope. And I think the skull floor there is only in the past as well. So you have to get that when, with the bombs. But anyway now, I think that's everything in here. So... Uh, let's go out into the rest of the world, probably. I guess there are a few things I can rem I remember now. My brain is weird. I remember everything that I need to do. I just don't remember it at all at once. I just remember it as I'm going through areas. Like, um... What am I trying to say? I remember what I'm doing, but only... Yeah. I remember everything as I go to each area. So if I get to a room, I know what to do there. But until I actually go to that room, I won't know that there's stuff to do. Anyway, let's make it nighttime here. Because by breaking this boulder, and having it be nighttime here... There's a gold skull floor to grab. So let's grab that. I don't think there's a second one, is there? I feel like there's supposed to be a gold skull floor up here, but I don't think there actually is. And I, th I think I'm just getting it confused with that one there. That I just got. But anyway, I want to head up to the top of Death Mountain again. Mostly. So I believe with Navi going here means that there's a specific song that you can play here to get a forest spirit or fairy spirit type thing to restore your health and magic. I feel like it's... no, it's not. Okay. Oh, it is Sun Song. Okay. <laughs> that just seems like it shouldn't be that one. But anyway, let's grab that. Restoring all of our health and magic. Let's head up Death Mountain a little bit more. I think since it's we're an adult now, I don't think it can be erupting. So, or at least not after the fire temple. Once uh, before the fire temple, I think it will still be erupting. But now that we've done the fire temple, I think we can just walk through here and not have to worry about anything at all. But anyway, up here there are a couple of rocks that we can break, and the one that's sticking into the wall. Is the one we want to break. And we want to actually use the Sun Song again since I want it to be nighttime. Just like that. And of course, it's another Sculptula. So let's grab that. Very nice. Okay, now. Also, the uh, in the future, there are, there are no owls to help you teleport around, which is kind of sad, but kind of makes sense because uh, Kepora Gebora, the owl, looks very similarly to Raru, the sage of light that we found, or well, met when we first became an adult after pulling the Master Sword. And I think the, the connection is that he's the um, owl spirit watching over you, I guess. But anyway, let's go over this way. I don't even care if I take damage, which I didn't, which is impressive. Also, what happens to the boulders when they roll down the hill into town? I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine. So fine. I mean, if they were to roll down straight, I guess... I guess that maybe they don't get past the wall, or maybe they do and they roll down all the way down here. Somehow missing the tower and not knocking it over and something? I don't know. Anyway, I think... I can't remember if I actually got the last reward. From the house of Scotilla. I 
I think I got the last reward here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it was a piece of heart. Right? Right. Right. I remember everything. Yes. Okay. It's sometimes difficult to remember which of the rewards from the sculptors you've got. So, uh, anyway, let's go uh, out into the field where I've been trying to go for a little bit. I can also walk backwards. Also, we don't need to have the Goron tunic equipped so we can take that off as well. Ah, trying to walk backwards and it's not working. It's fine. Okay, so we want to actually head over to Lon Lon Ranch since we haven't been there since we became an adult. So let's do that by walking all the way over there. Okay, London Ranch. I need it to be daytime, I think. Okay, so daytime. Let's take a look around. Ingo is not here anymore. No, no, what's it called? Talon isn't here anymore. We can go upstairs, though. Which we could do in the past as well, but I didn't. It's fairly empty in here, but, you know... We can be in here, which is interesting. There's a lot of, a lot of detail in this game. <laughs> but let's go into the field. Where Ingo is. Not letting us through into the field. Also, I don't know where Malon went. It's probably fine. There are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch. But, don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hard-working Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Sure. If you want to hear how to ride, do you want to hear how to ride? Sure, tell me. Approach the horse quietly and stand by its side. Press A to mount up. Use the control stick to make it run. Once it starts running, press A to tap it. Press A to tap it uh, with the whip. It will speed up. When you want to jump over a fence, accelerate and hit it head on. If you try to, to jump over a fence at an angle, the horse won't like it and won't jump. After the horse comes to a complete stop, press A to dismount. Now, have fun. Thank you so much, hehe. <laughs> and we are let in for only one minute. So, let's get started by not using the horse he gives us and actually using a Pona song to summon a Pona to us. Which, a Pona's already here, I guess we could actually just go to a Pona. But also, let's mount a Pona, please, please, please. And I think now we can go a little bit, we can run around a little bit and jump over these fences here. The carrots are, uh, are boosts that we can use. Can't use them all too quickly, otherwise they'll run out. They recharge slowly. Uh, but... Yeah, if they completely run out, they'll have take longer to charge back up. But they'll all charge back up at once. Uh, yes. When you want to dismount, stop and press A. Hey, young man! Do I know you? I just felt as though I've seen you somewhere before. If you use Z-targeting, you can talk to me from horseback. Are you ready to go home so soon? No one will ride. Tsk tsk. When your time is up, I'll kick you out of here. Or how about I talk to you again? When you want to dismount... I want to ride. Hang on. Dismount, please. 
hang on, dismount. Nope. Hang on. Hang on. Ah. I'm gonna run out of time here. Want to dismount by pressing down after all that. Climb up again, please. I don't know if I can actually do this right now. But please, please, please. Talk to him, please. Speak. <laughs> when you want to dismount. Ah! No, I want to ride. I'm pretty sure I can do this now, though. Oh, I'm gonna get kicked out anyway. Hey, time's up, young man. You only paid 10 rupees. You've played around long enough. That's a bit of a scam, I'd say. Guess I want to go in again. No, I don't want to hear how to ride. Thank you so much, hey hey. Okay, let's go to Apona. No, Apona, come back. I think we actually have to use Apona's song. So I was right the first time, we, we do actually have to use Apona's song. Okay, Apona, let's see what we can do. We don't have much time. But I'm... Sure, we can do something. Let's jump over this. Get a blue rupee. I think we have to go and be going the correct direction. And also possibly in the center to actually jump over these. Like that, and get another blue rupee. And now let's talk to him. You're getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the coral. With that horse. Corral. Let's make a little wager. Say 50 rupees? Do it. Okay. We have to race him now. On Epona. And we have to win. So let's start by just mashing the button and going straight forward. Getting the head start. Because we can push through as much as possible to just get the head start. And it always works, pretty much. And now we just need to keep our lead and try to stick close to the inside if we can. And not run out of boosts. And we should just win this without too much problems. Just like that. Sh shoot! If the great Ganondorf found out about this humili humiliation. Hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. Seems a bit desperate now, but we have to race him again. I think the same rules as before, we just need to get past him at the beginning if we can. He started early. Oh no, he's cheating, he's cheating, he's cheating, he's cheating, he's cheating, he's cheating. He's cheating so much. Please get past him, 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 please. No, this is bad. I'm out of stamina stuff. Oh, I'm gonna lose. I can't use my arrows either to cheat. Oh. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. That's the weirdest race of that I've ever had. <clears throat> Still won, though. What's up with that horse? Is that a pona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the race and I lost. Shoot. Ha ha ha. As I promised, I'll give you the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Well, joke's on you. Because I can just leave whenever I want. But I also want to do something. So I'm gonna create a store point quickly. So if we run at the fence at full speed, we should just be able to jump right out. But now I'm gonna load my restore point because it's gonna start a cutscene that will play no matter what we do. But I wanna show because we can jump over that fence there. But what I've always done, which I think is cooler, is if we actually turn around here and try to jump over this fence over here. 
except it's a little bit diff difficult. Ha ha! As I promised, I'll give you the horse, dear. However, you, I will never let you leave this ranch. Yes, I know, sir. I need to get a good starting boost or something. Also, we can attack the cuckoos by running over them. Oh no. I'm gonna be in trouble now. Can you... Let me go. Thank you. Let me try going around this. Please. I really need to have enough speed though, it's a real problem. Actually, I might be able to turn around here? I don't know. Oh, hello, chickens. Funny seeing you here. Looks good. So if we jump over that, and it works about the same way, but we get to leave through the entrance area, so I, I prefer that. So now we have opponent out in the Hyrule field, and we can call her anytime we want. Uh, we can only take her into the field and Lake Hylia, I believe. But now we can travel around a lot faster. And this actually opens up a special quest that we can do now. Which I'm going to probably spend a fair bit of time on. But starting off, if I walk past to here with Epona, we can see a big po spawn in, and we need to shoot it with a couple of arrows if I can. And we can't let it get too far away or go into a wall, otherwise it will disappear. Which makes this very annoying. Oh my goodness. Speaking of it getting too far away and disappearing. <sighs> but we need to get 10 of those that are all hidden out throughout the field. And we need to put them into bottles, which we only have three bottles at the moment. So it's gonna... It's going to definitely take some time if I... Oh my goodness. It's going to definitely take me some time. Come on. Really? You're not even going to spawn in this time. Oh, please. Please, just shoot tons of arrows. Okay, good. There we go. And it drops a yellow posol instead of a purple one. Or a different color, I guess. Get down, please. Let's go over to it. Oh, but I've made a terrible mistake. You defeated a Poe the Ghost. Do you want to catch it in a bottle? Yes, I do, but I don't have an empty bottle, so it's going to disappear anyway. This is a sad, sad day. But also, I'm going to have to get rid of all of my bugs and fairies for this. Anyway, I'll be back again once I actually have that Poe dead again, I guess. Okay, there we go. Please stop, please stop, please stop, Epona. Okay, we can also pull directly away from the direction we're going to stop if we want to. Anyway, we defeated Poe the Ghost. We want to catch them in a bottle. Yes, do. You caught a big Poe. Sell it at the ghost shop for a lot of money. So now, let's take this over to the ruins of Castletown. Which is a strange thing to say. To go, this is where we need to go. But let's just go into here. And now, let's go into the gatehouse. Because this place looks extremely different. For one thing, there's the posoles up there. And this guy here that looks creepy-ish, who also has a picture of the Triforce behind him, and some bottles on the floor, I guess. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's speak to you. Oh, you are quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome, too. Heh <laughs> heh Your name is Link, isn't it? Heh heh he. Don't be surprised, I can read people's minds. If I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. Heh <laughs> heh My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. 
because of the great Ganondorf. It is fine. It is a fine time for a business like this. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, I can see. Only hope in the in the world gets even worse. I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghost cold pose are spirits of con concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyard. They hate the world. Young man, if you catch a po, I will pay a lot of money for it. He he he. So let's target him and press the button that we have our big po set to. Oh, you brought a po today. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a big po. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put 100 points on your card. If you earn a thousand points, you'll be hap a happy man. Hehe. <laughs> so there we go. That's the first one. And now I'm probably gonna cut up getting the rest of them as best I can and show the way where you want to be to get them and how you want to get them to spawn in. And basically just shoot as many arrows as possible. The grass in the field will give you more arrows if you need it. So. Okay, so in the northeastern part of the field, you want to back up into this corner slowly. And then when the ghost appears, just go forward and get the Poe. You want to have the Poe basically in front of you so you don't have it moving around as much. So it's easier to just shoot at. The next one is up in this corner, in the middle of the field basically, just up in this ledge. You have to back up into the corner once again because that way it will spawn in front of you because it always, it always spawns in front of you. So you want to have it, you want to back up most of the time. But sometimes you just want to go forward and have it spawn that way. That way you can just shoot it down quickly. More you're keeping up with it. Now there's also one in front of Lon Lon Ranch. So we want to make sure that it spawns but doesn't go into the wall as well. So have to be careful about that. Just going to take it out. And there we go. You also probably want to go to the bar bazaar a few times just to buy arrows. I bought the 30 arrows and like the 1 arrows, but it's probably just worth buying the 50 arrows just because you can. Also, if you talk to the guy in the who, the po, po shop, he'll tell you how many points you have on your card. Up like each increment of 100 up to 1000, so. The next one is in the Salem entrance to the field, just between those two fences. And also down here in the south part of the field, if you go into this bush over here, the second one there, it spawns another one. This one can be tricky because it will turn a lot and get behind the trees, which make it difficult to keep up with it. Uh, there's also another one here if we go through the grass next to this tree. Pretty simple. Just make sure it doesn't get away from you. And now, over in the north part of the Hyrule, next to this river, you need to go through this bush to make it spawn, but it, you can have a little bit of trouble getting it into the right position. And I also had this one go into the wall and then die, which meant that the the, the soul actually dropped out of the world. So, I had to get it again, which I found this angle here... Hang on. This angle here was the one that I liked the best. For getting that. Making it go away from the river. Uh, now down east, if you want to go clip past this tree, it will make this one spawn in. Just just hit the edge of it and you won't... You, it will be fine. It, it's pretty easier than just walking past it. But anyway, the last one is here in the middle of this intersection. You have to ride through the middle to make it spawn. But there we go, that's all of the po souls that we need to get. I believe you can only get each big po once, so you actually have to go to all of these locations. Okay, so that's all of them. Now let's give him the last po, if I can actually give it to him, please. Let's actually give him the last po. Oh, you brought a po today. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a big po. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put 100 points on your card. If you earn 1,000 points, you'll be a happy man. Hehe. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wow. You have earned a thousand points. Young man, you are a genuine ghost hunter. Is that what you expected me to say? Hehehe. <laughs> because of you, I have an extra inventory of big pose. 
So this will be the last time I can buy a ghost. You're thinking about what I promised would happen when you earned a thousand points, haha. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Just take this. And we get our fourth and final empty bottle. So now we have four empty bottles because we just sold all those pose and had to use all four bottles. But now we have all four of the bottles, it's so nice, and now I can put so many fairies and have bugs, I guess. But anyway, that's all of that done. It might still be worth getting some bugs now, or possibly some fairies. But now I think we're actually going to go up Zora River, since that's what Navi wants us to do. Can't take a pony there, but we can take a pony a lot of places, so it's quite nice to be able to just run around. You know, you know what I mean. It's, it's so much faster than just walking, so... But anyway, ah! This is a slope. If a pony can't go down a slope that's too steep, then it should just stop, so... But anyway, it's actually turning to night time, time, which is actually what I want right now. So, let's head on up the river. Here we go. Also, apparently in the future that tree's gone. So, cool. I don't know who was there to cut it down, but anyway, there's also a lot more enemies here now. So let's get this popcorn back at you, please. A bit further back. There we go. As long as he jumps back into his own attack, that's all I need. But yeah, there is quite a lot of Octorox here. That we probably just want to avoid. We can also take this bean plant up to anywhere that we need to. And while we're here, there's also another Skulltula here that we can grab. So let's do that. Hello. I'm gonna take you now. There we go. You can also take the shortcut from Death Mountain or the Goron City to the Lost Woods to Zora River still, I'm pretty sure, which is helpful. Anyway, let's get some fairies while we're here since we can. And we have empty bottles. I would actually recommend doing the big Poe quest, even though it's a little bit annoying. Having an extra bottle is just super helpful. I'm going to only use three of these bottles, though, for now. There we go. Very nice. I guess I could just put an another one in a bottle and just use the fairy if I need extra space, though. So there we go. Fully stocked up right now. Let's head up the river some more. Also, I might equip some other things, just so I'm not just holding fairies that I might accidentally activate. Let's -a go. I could also use the bean plant to get up faster probably, but I'm just gonna walk. I th actually, no, I don't think it does go all the way up the river. I think it just goes past here maybe. So we can see a bit of snowflakes falling past us. Cold breeze is blowing from Zora River. Now I think as an adult, the red red rupees are down there in the water, if I'm not mistaken, which I might still be. There are rupees in there. I can see them. Okay, good. I'm not crazy. Anyway. Oh, I see that. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Actually, I don't know if I can actually reach that, possibly. Also, it's night daytime now, so I need to play Sun Song. Like that. Now, please say that this is close enough for me to get. It's actually strange how many sculptors are around here. Where is it? Oh, it's way up there. Can't reach that unless maybe hop onto the fence very delicately. Please. Please. I, I think... I think I can reach it. Yes, I can. Very nice. Okay, now let's go into Zora's Domain. Okay, just like that. So this lullaby still needs to be used to get in. Oh my goodness. 
wait till the bar appears. Is Link in the ground? Also, we still want it to be nighttime when we go in here. Just so that you know. But Zora's Domain is completely frozen over, which is why Lake Hylia hasn't had- the- the way between Lake Hylia and here is blocked off because the entrance is frozen. Pretty much all Zora are just frozen in the water now, so we can't actually talk to any of them. Uh, there is- even the Zora shop is frozen over by this thing, so... Can't do anything with that. Let's go up and see how King Zora is. Also, there's a circle of rocks on top of the ice there, which is interesting. And King Zora is frozen in a purple ice thing. We can't even talk to him. I don't even think we can check him. But what we can do is actually go down this path. It's so weird being able to walk on this ice. Because if we get right up to the edge over here at night time, we can hear it. We need to be able to get this gold skull right there. There we go. Let's go behind King Zora now. Since we can do that. Don't know where Ruto is though, because she's not sitting here next to her father. It's not frozen up this way, which is good. Uh, but differences to point out straight away is Lord Jabu Jabu is not here. At all. He's just gone. I don't know what happened to him, but I... You know, it's... It's been seven years. He was kind of sick the last time we saw him, except we did kind of help him. A little bit. Also, this... These... The, everything is ice physics on these icebergs and... The frozen over Zora's domain. So we do have to be a little bit careful navigating our way across these icebergs, even the ones that are moving. But I do want that piece of heart there, so let's try and get that. You can kind of t glitch yourself, or kind of get back onto the icebergs when they're tipping from in the, uh, in, in the water, trying to get out, but it's a little bit difficult. But anyway, that's that piece of heart. Now let's jump across here very carefully. Okay. Oh, please, these are ones are spinning. Okay, just need to get over to this cave over here, which we could see f as we're Child Link. And if we can go in here... We reach the Ice Cavern. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.